Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis, and I want to let you know that tonight we're airing the last episode of the CO2 series. The CO2 series was, it's a film that I was involved in the creation of, it's kind of a disaster epic, and the last episode of that series is airing tonight. And next week, this same time, this same place, we're going to be starting what I know a lot of you guys have been waiting for, the second season of Alien Invasion. I think it's a very exciting season. We've already got a lot of episodes in the can. There are a lot of uh, special guests, many of whom you guys I'm sure are familiar with. They're going to be in the second season. I'm really excited to share that with you guys, uh, you know, a week from today. I also want to let you know that tonight at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time, I'm going to be doing a live stream. Uh, you know, I like doing live streams to connect with you guys. You guys can connect with me on the first Friday of every month, and we're going to be doing that. And boy, is there a lot to talk about. Uh, I mean, there's just things going on all over the world on a micro level, on a macro level, all over the place. And, uh, you know, I hope to see you guys tonight at 8.30 Eastern Standard Time. But first, I need to work on my garden. My garden this season has been, I don't know, kind of so-so. It's the first year working on the soil in this uh, this garden. So it gets better every year when, whenever you're working with organic gardening. You know, whereas conventional farming practices tend to deplete the soil year after year um, or, ca or can. Organic uh, farming uh, methods tend to make the soil better and better and better every year. And this is our first year, so, you know, it's... We're starting at zero at this point, but there's one part of our garden and landscaping that has been working out really well, and it is the fruit trees. I planted in an orchard, I guess it's kind of a mini orchard. We bought 30 bare root trees last year. If you guys watched the Project Homestead series where I was building this place, a uh, big part of it was working on getting the land ready to kind of support us as much as the, you know, the house structure. And one thing that I bought was 30 bare root trees. We got them in last year and they're doing really well. And my secret, I don't know if it's a secret, but one thing that I think is helping a lot is Neptune's Harvest. This is an organic uh, fish fertilizer. It's a fish emulsion. Here in New England, we call it Neptune's Harvest. And uh, I've been putting this on uh, the fruit trees uh, about twice a month. You know, in the beginning of the month, in the middle of the month, I've been uh, taking this uh, five gallon, you know, whatever container of water, mixing in a little bit of this with it and uh, spreading it out on all the trees. And they're doing really, really well. So, you know, whenever you're working on something, you know, some aspects work well, some aspects don't work so great. And that's one of the things I think is great about the live stream tonight is that we get to connect with each other and we can talk to each other sort of quasi virtually face to face and kind of check in about like what things have been working for me, what things are working for you, what things are you guys concerned about and what things am I looking at on the horizon? Because there are a lot of question marks and there's a lot of challenges coming down the road. If there's ever been a time to be a prepper, it's right now. And tonight we're going to talk about it. That's it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, next week, Alien Invasion Season 2. Thank you.
This episode is brought to you in part by Burning Hearth Homestead, a nonprofit that aims to provide seeds, live plants, and education to the community, both local and extended. Plant seeds, plant knowledge, plant the future. If you'd like to thank them for supporting this channel or find out more about what they do, go to burninghearthhomestead.org. Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.